Hopefully the wind don't blow off my camera again. This is a really expensive knife test. <sighs> Slash, no, if we say that when you're speaking, I don't know, I'm not smart. <sighs> knife abuse. Slowly prying this piece out of honey, honey locust. It's tougher than any oak I've played with. <sighs> Offset my handle a little bit. Blade's fine. One side of the handle scales is moved. But it doesn't actually feel to the touch anywhere else like it's moving. Yeah, that thing's in there too. Slowly causing a split. Axe work, not knife work. Got my breath back a little bit. Uh, so, uh, out of my curiosity and laziness, uh, my hair's all wild right now. Um, been working on this uh, cup idea. I figured, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> Let's see what I can do with a, just a knife. Uh, this is my uh, Scott Gossman uh, Polaris in 4V. It's pretty thick. I don't remember the measurement. It's like just under a quarter. Uh, been doing uh, axe work with this knife. And <laughs> up until one minute ago, two minutes ago maybe, <laughs> I had absolutely no problems. Uh, finally came into a problem <laughs> doing uh, axe work with a knife. I uh, was curious just how tough this thing is. And I've been uh, <sighs> splitting this out. <laughs> like you would with an axe with my knife Ugh, I'm almost done actually I'm gonna finish but uh, the interesting thing is there's no damage to the steel whatsoever there's a little bit of edge rolling right here sharpen out real quick with a uh, uh, horny steel I don't know if you can see that or not Right there. But in my hour of smashing this thing with my grunt and say bah <laughs> style uh, club, <laughs> my caveman baton. Uh, I eventually knock the glue loose come on focus camera and now my handles move but it moves in unison I had a little bit offset 
and that was it, right? And I was like, I should probably stop. <laughs> but I kept going, because I'm that kind of dumb. But now, I've busted up my knife. It's one of my favorites, too. But, the interesting thing is, the steel is all good. There's no, no bending, no warping. I mean, I've been pounding. Like, you wouldn't believe. I'll, I'm going to load up a couple videos later. Um, something you shouldn't do with a knife, but I figured what the hell. Let's see what it can do. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty expensive experiment, honestly. Um, I wouldn't do this with a Mora or a... Or something like that. Um... Because I, I know that would break. But I was very curious on how tough the 4V steel was. Because it's this is the only knife I have in 4V. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass to sharpen. You have to you have to use diamonds. You can't uh, just pick up a rock and go. Um, <laughs> but I've been beating the ever living snot out of this thing. And I'm surprised, like seriously surprised. I had this thing buried into this honey locust all the way up to here, smashing it back and forth. I'll uh, probably keep using it, honestly, until I break it <laughs> all the way. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna finish this project that, uh, out of my laziness, I, I didn't wanna go looking for my axes. They're buried in my garage. I don't use them very much. Um, anymore uh, so they're just under Christmas lights or something I don't even know but uh, <laughs> this uh, Polaris from Scott Gossman it, it's it's a stout stout one but uh, super pretty thick uh, but I haven't bro broke any of the metal surprisingly uh, pop the handle scales a little loose the mechanical uh, pins the um I can't remember the name of these they're still holding everything together so it still functions just fine Th this is what I wanted 10 years ago in a knife I, I <laughs> fucking sharp pry bar that you just can't break when I was in the army. That's what I really wanted. I broke a lot of knives when I was in the army. I put a, some bench maids through hell. Uh, only one of them stood stood up um, uh, to all the abuse I put it through. Bunch of Gerbers, um, Leathermans. They're, they're great blades, but they're not meant for the kind of abuse I was putting them through. This thing, on the other hand, I'm deliberately just being stubborn <laughs> or lazy uh, trying to do uh, axe work with a knife um, expensive little lesson but I'm going to keep going with it um, hell maybe you guys uh, <laughs> hang around for a few minutes and watch me do it some more see if I can't get you in camera as I knock over my phone Polaris doing axe work. That's in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can't pop this bitch out, yeah? Oh, 
splitting the whole log. <laughs> Don't do this to your knives! <laughs> Time to work on the other side. That is freaking cool! Splitting it all the way down. Clean up some of that bark real quick. Stay phone. Pounding over here. Just slowly uh, working this thing out. Should be doing it with an axe. I'm amazed by that split though. Time to work the other side. <laughs> this is a honey locust. It's just tough work for even an axe right now. Ugh. It's been drying for well over a year. Just as tough as oak in my opinion. If not, maybe a little tougher. Blade's still straight. And that little tiny rolled spot is gone. It <laughs> kind of fixed itself. <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys, as I uh, abuse the ever living shit out of my knife right now. <sighs> and cause massive splits in this honey locust that I should be using an axe for. So honestly split all the way through. I should have been doing the whole thing on live. <laughs> Just gotta get this little piece that's stuck in there and it comes off. <sighs> doing, doing axe work with a knife. <laughs> Really expensive. Battery's about to die. I'm uh, probably gonna lose you guys here in a minute. Let's see if I can't get this off first. Axe work with a knife. Stupidity at its finest. It's off though. Now to go get my uh, tracker knife and finish this job up. Thanks for joining my uh, craziness for the evening. Please don't do this to your knives. 
uh, that's a expensive test. <laughs> but yeah, steel's all good still. Knock the glue loose. Handle moves just a tiny bit. Steel is still perfectly sound though. Thanks for joining me. Bye guys.